This video describes a sample workflow using an Esprit Additive DED cycle running on a Yaskawa robot programmed with Almacam. The workflow begins with the suite of additive operations available in EspreeCam. This valve part will be programmed with Esprit's automatic tool inclination DED cycle, which allows the additive head to remain vertical to the bead deposition. The resulting toolpath trajectory calculations are backed by years of research in additive manufacturing. To get an overall idea of the deposition and to verify the toolpath, we run a simulation of the cycle in Esprit on a sample 5-axis DED machine. Now that we have created a suitable toolpath in Esprit, we can apply it to a robot cell with Almacam. Almacam reads the Esprit file and uses its own kinematic solver to simulate and program the robot's motion. The simulation of the fully modeled robot cell allows advanced collision detection. Since the part was programmed with Esprit's automatic tool inclination cycle, we can see here that the robot arm moves around the deposition point, or it can be fixed while the two-axis rotary table moves. This workflow culminates in the manufacturing process that you see here. Using the toolpath from Esprit, a Yaskawa robot programmed with Almacam, and cold metal transfer technology from Fronius. Fronius has also equipped other machines, such as the Mazak J600, also supported by Esprit. The resulting additive part is then machined using traditional subtractive processes programmed in Esprit. Thanks to this collaboration with Almacam, you can now run additive cycles programmed with Esprit on robots, expanding the possibilities in additive manufacturing.